For quite a while, people have envisioned what life might be like in other universes. Due to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most astounding telescope in existence, that question may at last be ready to be analyzed. While noticing the nearest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, which is just four light years away, researchers have seen several explicit oddities from one of the planets in the system, Proxima b. These inconsistencies, called fake lights, have stunned the best minds in standard science. Yet what are they? Do these lights propose the presence of intelligent life on the world? Join us as we explore the James Webb Space Telescope's upsetting discovery of city lights that could change everything. The only life that we are currently aware of is on Earth. Since the beginning of civilization, humans have questioned whether there is life somewhere else in the universe. To direct such an interstellar search, American space experts Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson launched the hunt for extraterrestrial intelligence, or the SETI project, in 1984. The charity's objective is to gather space-borne radio transmissions. Radio waves can travel farther and are therefore more likely to be detected by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the unique Allen Telescope Array in the California Sierra Nevada mountains. However, in recent years, no conclusive extraterrestrial signal has been found. Following that, the James Webb Space Telescope's successful launch supported the mission to examine a range of exoplanets orbiting distant stars. As the largest telescope on the planet, drifting around one million miles from Earth and equipped with incredibly sensitive indicators, it has the potential to reveal Earth-shattering discoveries. A while ago, there were no known planets outside our solar system. However, since then, more than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered orbiting different stars. According to NASA, the universe may contain trillions of exoplanets. Early indications of something occurring beyond our solar system might be found in extraterrestrial vegetation. The Galileo spacecraft on its course to Jupiter turned its instruments back toward Earth and recognized an obvious sign of plant life by perceiving the vegetation red edge, a biosignature that consists of a mix of red and infrared light reflected by plants. For instance, a planet like Earth, covered in a jungle, should have a strong and easily recognizable red edge signal. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will measure the red edge of distant Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars, which could give critical insights about what's happening beneath the surface of an exoplanet's atmosphere. When sunlight crosses a planet's star, the JWST could potentially detect it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. The missing frequencies would then be seen through spectroscopy as particles and atoms in the climate absorb specific frequency wavelengths, creating a unique fingerprint that the JWST can recognize. This method might be used to determine the composition of the atmosphere and whether life is possible. Life could exist on Earth-sized planets with atmospheres like our own, made of a mix of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By searching for elements that aren't typically present, we may be able to recognize intelligent life. For example, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, chemicals made for use in refrigeration and cleaning products, would likely be detectable by extraterrestrials observing Earth's atmosphere from a distance. If the JWST detects CFCs in planetary atmospheres, it would be a conclusive sign of technological civilization. However, life on exoplanets may not resemble life on Earth at all. In some cases, even normal living organisms, like extremophiles, species that can survive in conditions where other life forms would perish, might seem extraterrestrial. These organisms, mostly microorganisms, can endure extreme conditions, such as temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit or strong acids with pH levels below 3. Since planets like Earth are more likely to support life than those with extreme temperatures or acidic conditions, it might be wise to focus first on those excellent candidates. These planets could have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces as well as orbit a stable star. Our Sun is classified as a yellow G-type star. These stars are more extreme and generally have shorter lifespans. However, in our universe, the likelihood of studying planets orbiting red dwarf stars, more common stars with lower luminosities and temperatures than the Sun, is higher. 
This longer time scale allows for the development of life and evolution of complex creatures. Around 40 light years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system will be the subject of the JWST's first mission. It orbits a quiet red dwarf star with seven Earth-sized rocky planets. Three of these rocky planets, located in the so-called habitable zone, could have liquid water on their surfaces. Despite its smaller size and cooler mass compared to our Sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star emits light like that of Earth's Sun. Due to the close orbit of its planets, the most promising opportunity for us to see city lights outside our solar system is Proxima Centauri. This red dwarf star is 4.25 light years from the Sun. Proxima is much dimmer than the Sun, so a planet would need to be much closer to it than Earth is to the Sun to support life due to the presence of liquid water. In August 2016, astronomers found a planet with 1.3 Earth masses in the habitable zone, a Goldilocks zone where the light intensity is perfect for liquid water. This planet, Proxima b, orbits Proxima Centauri. However, it is possible that Proxima b is an airless, lifeless planet, considering that it orbits its red dwarf star at a distance of only 4.6 million miles. This close orbit exposes it to intense solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere. Nevertheless, Proxima b receives enough sunlight for temperatures and liquid water to exist, much like Earth. Interestingly, the James Webb Space Telescope has picked up anomalous signals from Proxima b, referred to as artificial lights. These signals resemble the kind of light pollution produced by city lights on Earth. If confirmed, it would mean that Proxima b harbors some form of intelligent life. While it's tempting to jump to conclusions, scientists remain cautious. Such lights could also be caused by natural phenomena, such as volcanic activity or reflective mineral deposits on the planet's surface. The prospect of artificial lights on Proxima b has sparked intense debate. If these lights are indeed created by intelligent beings, it would be the first confirmed sign of extraterrestrial intelligence. Such a discovery would answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? However, it also raises concerns. Would intelligent life on Proxima b be friendly, or could they view humanity as a threat? How should Earth approach potential contact with an alien civilization? One key aspect of this discovery is the potential for collaboration between telescopes like the JWST and future missions, such as the proposed Breakthrough Starshot project. Breakthrough Starshot aims to send a fleet of small, light-powered probes to Proxima Centauri, traveling at a significant fraction of the speed of light. These probes could provide close-up images of Proxima b and confirm whether the artificial lights are indeed evidence of intelligent life. However, such a mission could take decades to plan, execute, and receive data from. For now, scientists are focusing on analyzing the data from the James Webb Space Telescope. By studying the light signatures in more detail, they hope to determine whether the artificial lights are consistent with technology or if they can be explained by natural processes. This will involve cross-referencing the signals with known phenomena on Earth and other planets in our solar system. In addition to Proxima b, other promising exoplanets, such as those in the TRAPPIST-1 system, will be closely monitored by the JWST. The goal is to identify additional signs of habitability or even intelligent life. Each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of understanding our place in the cosmos. As humanity ventures further into space exploration, the possibility of encountering intelligent life becomes increasingly real. The discovery of artificial lights on Proxima b serves as a reminder of the vast unknown that lies beyond our solar system. Whether these lights are a beacon from another civilization or a natural phenomenon yet to be understood, they represent a tantalizing glimpse into the mysteries of the universe.